we're going to talk about um, noble gas configuration. So yesterday, um, in some of the, the problems that I worked myself and ones that you did on the practice problems and maybe even in the, the quiz, uh, they got kind of long. And you, if you realize, you started writing the same stuff over and over in the beginning. So, you know, chemists realized this, and so they actually came up with an abbreviated uh, scenario or abbreviated, um, what's the word I'm looking for? Solution to our problem. So these are called noble gas configurations. So when we do this, we actually have to use um, noble gases. That's why they're called noble gas configurations. You may also hear them referred to as shorthand configurations or abbreviated versions or something like that. But they use the noble gases. So I'm going to pull out my periodic table that we labeled yesterday. And so you need to do the same because you're still going to use it. But we're going to show you the short way to write it this time. So here's my periodic table. Now, we are going to use the noble gases. And so I'm going to circle the noble gases for you. Um, let me do this in a color that we haven't used so far. Let's use this bright green. All of these are the noble gases. Here they are. Those are all noble gases. So we have to use those as an abbreviation um, to do this. Now, so let's write, um, let's see, yesterday we did fluorine. So let's do fluorine. Let's do the noble gas configuration for fluorine. Oh, I don't know what I'm doing with those little dots. This is not wrong unit, wrong unit. <laughs> so fluorine had nine valence electrons. So, and there's a way to check yourself on this one too. Okay, so what you do is you go backwards to the nearest noble gas. Don't go forwards. Okay, so here's my fluorine. Here's all of my noble gases. You would want to go forward to the nearest noble gas. You can't go forward, okay? You've got to go back up, up here. You have to go to the noble gas above what you're trying to do. So if you're over here, like you're trying to do gold, you're not, it's not just your nearest noble gas. It's the nearest noble gas above the row that you're working on. So it would be um, this one here, all right? That would be what you use if you're trying to do something with gold. You don't use radon, you use xenon. You gotta use the one above it. So for fluorine, the one above fluorine is helium. Now there's a special way that you have to write this and it's in brackets. Now when you do this on the computer, um, this is actually a special key that you probably don't use very much. It's next to the P, um, the P key on your keyboard. Um, so those are brackets. You have to use brackets, okay? You cannot use parentheses. When you use parentheses in chemistry, it actually means something different than brackets. It means concentration. We are not in any kind of solution chemistry right now. So please do not use parentheses. It has to be brackets. Now, after you write down the nearest noble gas above it, you just pick up right where helium left, left off, or right excuse me, right where that noble gas left off. So I don't have to write anything before helium, so I just pick up af after it. So these two and these. So it's now going to be, I wrote that helium in brackets, 2s2, 2p5, and that's it. Okay, so if, here's the way you check yourself. Helium has um, two electrons. Helium has two electrons, so 2 plus 2 plus 5 is 9. So that's how we check ourselves. So let's do, um, yesterday we also did, let's see, we did ruthenium, I think, RU, which is number 44. So ruthenium is here. We're not gonna go forward to our nearest noble gas. We're gonna go above it. So the nearest noble gas above it is krypton. So you put krypton in brackets. Now everything before krypton, I don't have to write down. That's the great part about this. Every single thing before Krypton, I don't have to write down. It's beautiful, okay? That's why this is so great, is I don't have to keep writing 1s2, 2s2, 2p6. You don't have to do all that, okay? So let's pick up right after Krypton, and we're going to go all the way to ruthenium here. So after Krypton, we've, we're going to go here, okay? So after Krypton, it is 5s2. 4d 
And so ruthenium is 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 4, D6. And that's it. Done. That is wonderful. So, <clears throat> so much faster. Okay. So now I also gave you another one. I gave you samarium. And now that was number 62. So if you really wanted to check yourself on this one we just did, you could. This is 44. That's what it needs to be. Krypton is 36. 36 plus 2 is 38, plus 6 more is 44, so that is correct. Now on samarium, samarium is number 62. Remember that this row here is actually right here. It should be in line right here is where this row should be. So the nearest noble gas before samarium is xenon, because remember it's supposed to be in this row, and the noble gas above this row is xenon. So that one is hard. Okay. So now what we do is we just pick up right where xenon left off. So we're going to come over here, 6s2, and then 4f, let's see, remember we've got to do lanthanum, we've got to do lanthanum, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. And that's it. So let's check ourselves. The, let's see, xenon has 54 plus two more is 56, plus another six is 62, so that's correct. Um, that's it for today, okay? So you, you, you've got a couple of practice problems, you've got uh, a little mini quiz to take, so, but that's it. Uh, you know, if, if, you're not, if you're not getting this, if you're not understanding it, please send me a message, okay? I know I say this over and over, and some of you are listening to me, but again, you've got to take ownership of your learning, okay? I'm not going to know if you're getting this or not, all right? Please, please, please send me a message, okay? If you need help, I'm always here. No one is judging you. I will help.